Anybody that goes outside that wire is now at the mercy of the enemy. At what point in time do you stop turning a blind eye to, to the people you're losing? When you stop uh, accepting or, or not accepting that the existing training, the existing uh, tactics and, and procedures are not working. In today's world, the Air Force's police agencies, OSI and security forces, have been faced with the need to fight a ground war. Like other battlefield airmen, they have been forced by circumstances to adapt, facing death at the hands of an enemy who hides in the surrounding innocent population. We've taken entire airfields and dropped it right in the middle of a combat zone. Uh, as the Army started to pull away from the, the perimeter, uh, Air Force members had to start moving outside the perimeter. Terrorists have taken a heavy toll on OSI. Seven of the nine agents killed in the line of duty since OSI was created in 1948 were slain outside the wire. To date, seven security forces troops have also been lost to IEDs and VBIEDs. Taken together, those 14 equal half of all Air Force personnel killed in action in Afghanistan and Iraq. To reduce the risk of additional combat losses outside the wire, an additional training initiative has been created by Air Force and coalition combat veterans working together. Over five intense days, this training teaches you to use UAV and rover technology, teaches you to think and fight independently, adapting to the rapidly shifting battle space. This training is called Patriot 7. It is named for the seven OSI agents and seven security force troopers whose standard training did not prepare them for what was waiting outside the wire. What they didn't have and what we're trying to provide is they didn't have the necessary situational awareness of where they were going, what it looked like before they got there, what it looked like while they're there, and what had changed while they were there when they were coming out. Because when we look at some of the instances of the causes where, uh, where the IEDs uh, killed our people, oftentimes it's as they were departing, not necessarily entering. So as the enemy would see you uh, enter an area, they could then establish uh, an ambush environment. Now we're going to use an air umbrella to protect us. So we're creating an armed overwatch. Situational awareness coming through the video. So. The opposition forces okay, I'm make a are trying to move here, so don't to surprise us, but we know exactly where they're all at. Patriot 7 training is led by Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Greg Harbin. He's a three-time recipient of the Bronze Star, one of them for valor. When he teaches, Harbs draws on his nine battle missions on the ground where he called in airstrikes. His constant message to his students, You're not alone out here. You have Predator, you have F-16s, and we're controlling this movement right now without saying a word. The trainers Harbs uses have all seen friends killed or wounded by IEDs or by snipers or in sophisticated ambushes. They teach the students, many of whom will be deploying for the first time, to amp up their situation awareness in the moment, with or without the help of surveillance from the sky. Whenever there's an incident, the tendency is always to focus on the incident when the real danger is up here in the perimeter. Although most of the students have previously been taught to function strictly within their own units and teams and always within a narrow chain of command, Patriot 7 training forces them to think very big, even in terms of the regional ground commander's capabilities. Ultimately, that ground commander has the hardware and people needed to support or extract the students if they get in trouble outside the wire. And with the help of rover technology, the ground commander and students watch the same live video feed of the battle space. We don't pretend to be in the end game of a, of a major training or red flag, but what we do is we energize their minds and we get the technology in the field faster. Most of that is full motion video. Uh, my last deployment was a year-long deployment in Baghdad, Iraq. The urban environment limits your line of sight, usually by less than a city block in length. This will give me the opportunity to see around corners before I go around them, uh, see things before they see me. I get the chance to get eyes on things well before I ever get shot by them. In the real world, survival and success are often dependent on being able to work smoothly with joint and coalition partners. At a recent Patriot 7 training, Air Force students worked with Navy SEALs, and they all took orders from a Canadian forward air controller who became legend in Afghanistan for calling in airstrikes on his own position to kill enemy fighters who were breaching coalition defenses. 
Today, that fearless Canadian officer is Harb's number one deputy at Patriot 7. Their biggest challenge is getting students to break out of old thinking as they learn to use new technology and their imagination. They don't know what to expect or they don't know what this is going to do and uh, or they have certain expectations and when they come here and they realize how simple the kid is to employ and how easy it is and how many assets are out there that push this full motion video around that they can use to do their jobs more effectively uh, they uh, their their whole philosophy uh, turns around on 180 on it students leave the patriot 7 experience with a powerful new mindset the idea that there is always someone watching over them someone who is able to help when they venture outside the wire they also take with them a working knowledge of the rover system, of the way a tactical operations center works, of techniques for surviving truck convoy missions based on high-speed decision-making, driven by access to full-motion video aerial surveillance of the battle space. It is training that deliberately makes them comfortable with air power support and uncomfortable without it. We want anyone that goes outside the wire to be able to call for help when they need it, whether that be fire support, reconnaissance, or a helicopter to come take you to the hospital. Those are the kind of tactics that we've learned by experience. We've bled for that. Let's get that knowledge out immediately, and that's what Patriot 7 is.